Never been to the uh, Atlantic Ocean. Maybe it's full of lobster. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh, that guy's a keeper. This is the biggest. This Look is the biggest the catch I've ever that. had. Right here. That is oh my! Hi, I'm Greg Ovens, and this is Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft. Just filling some orders. Right on. Yes, sir. Nice to finally meet you. Yeah, you bet. Nice to meet you, Greg. Right. Packing some wadobo, eh? Oh, oh yeah. So I gotta meet my editor, John, here. Yeah, he's right around the corner there. Go meet him. <laughs> finally in person, huh? You must be John. Yes. Hey. There he is. How's it going? Good. Sean, good to meet you. Nice to Doing meet you. Doing a good too. job, so. Thank you. Yeah, that's uh, we got another video out today. Uh, yes. So I'm gonna get uh, get Zach the final edits here. I think in a couple hours and working on uh, day 12 and 13. Perfect. So, Perfect. Yeah. No, I love what you guys are doing. So. Cool. Yeah, Thank just you. keep up the good work. I appreciate it. Thanks. I think we uh, kicked a breaker downstairs, so <laughs> uh, maybe have to go talk to Zach about that. So I'm rebooting things. Technical issues. I'm glad I just have to deal with the filming. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll yeah. let you get back to work. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet and you too. Talk to you soon. Yes, sir. Okay. I thought you might find this interesting. There's the net Zach made when we were on the 30 day challenge. Cut it down to bring it back, but that's interesting. So, John's hard at work on the video that's going to come out tonight. Yeah. Working on the photo cover there. <laughs> and then Zach over here, I heard him giggle. He's fine tuning. These guys are putting a lot of effort into this. I shouldn't film too long, you'll get a sneak preview. Well, no, the series will be over. This will be like a, a okay. post preview. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But this is a interesting behind the scenes of the operation. I'll stay out of their way. They're busy doing their editing. And uh, I don't want to interfere. As much as I like work, I have no idea how this works. Uh, the plan today is to go and check lobster traps. I'm looking forward to that. I've never been to the Atlantic Ocean, different oceans, Belfer Sea. Pacific obviously South Pacific but lobster I love my lobster so I'm hoping he's got some lobster in those traps make sure if you haven't checked the 30 day survival challenge that you go back and check right from day one to day 30 it was an exciting series now here we are over in Maine make sure to share like and subscribe so off to check the lobster traps Ooh -ah, Charlie Pardon? Oh, truck. Then you can see better, eh? Okay. This one. Yep. There you go. We're going, we don't need roads. As long as we get lobster, I'll be happy. Okay, get back, boat. Okay. She hasn't been started in a little while. <laughs> I think three weeks since the last time we came out here, me and the girls, and baited the trap. So hopefully there's some lobsters in there for Greg and I to feast on. You better start. Almost. He needs cleaner lungs out. I 
and we're off. So we are here in Rockport Harbor. Is this your first time lobstering, Greg? Yep. Never been to the uh, Atlantic Ocean. Oh, really? No. Oh my goodness. Wow. Right on. Your first time in the Atlantic Ocean and you get to go lobstering. Yep. Unfortunately, he's not allowed to pull up the traps or handle the trap. It's a personal license and it took me a whole bunch of uh, paperwork and stuff just to get this as a resident of Maine. But he can definitely eat them, so that's the good part. He gets to watch me do all the hard work to pull these things off the bottom 60 feet down. As long as I get to eat them, I don't care about pulling the traps in. <laughs> <laughs> So what's your prediction? Well, I don't know. I hate to bet on things, <laughs> but I hope we get something. Enough to eat, huh? A couple of keepers at least. All that anticipation and telling you we're going to have all kinds of lobster when you visit. <laughs> better be something. You'd hope so. Make me not, a, not have to be a liar. I love plastic buckets. <sighs> hey, here we go. We got some pig hide. We're going to bait the traps with. This lasts a lot longer than fish and so it'll be perfect for checking them every three weeks during the winter time kind of thing until I get sick of it and pull them in. I oh, shouldn't have eat all those hot dogs and french fries before this. I feel them weighing me down. <laughs> it's always hard to get it off the bottom that first pull. How many you got out here? Five. I can have five on my personal personal license. Oh, they seem like it got heavier. Maybe it's full of lobster. <laughs> <laughs> there it comes. There we go. Nothing. No, there is nothing. Huh, he said nothing too soon, you jinxed us. There's a crab. Oh, yeah, little guy, eh? Well, we let him go, obviously. <laughs> That's about the usual. Is it? Yeah. Or a little bit bigger. Yep. We'll yeah. keep him. We can eat him. Yeah. yeah, he's got some nice meat right there and there. See, when you lift it up, all of them slide through here and through here, and they end up all the way to the bottom. So when you first haul it up, you won't see anything until you get it all the way out, and you're like, oh, yay. Oh, yeah. A little clove hitch, which is good to go. I'm not allowed to even cut the trap. <laughs> not allowed to touch the bait, not allowed to touch anything law wise. I think we'll shift it out this way a little bit before we plunk her back in.
got stronger. It's so easy. Oh, now we're getting to it. Shallower here. Oh yeah. More of the line stuck in the mud. Nothing. A little crab again, but yeah. it's real thing. Really? Well, that's why we're baiting them. We can come back in three days, four days, five days, have something in here. What did you have for bait in there before? I think these were actually baited with mackerel. That's why it, it, they were able to strip it and leave so quickly. Some kind of fish in there. Yeah, we got a couple fish. What are these things called? Is that a cod? I thought it was sculpin. Oh, it could be a sculpin, yeah. A couple of them. There's a little one. It's free bait. That's, That's pretty, a big one. Pretty weird. Right? Oh, yeah. It's pretty wild. Let that poor guy go. No, no. <laughs> no. I'm no, right, no. I, I haul up these traps. It's hard work. These guys are going in here as bait. They will get eaten and draw in lobsters and things. And they'll put a face pig in there too. That's how you do it. Oh, we got one. We got one lobster. We got one. It looks like it's Zach too... says it's too small. It probably is. We'll check it. We'll check it. Oh, it's just too small because it goes over the back. Yeah. Once that goes over the back, you're done. You can't keep her. Yeah. Uh, actually, what is it? It's a boy. It's a boy. Mazel tov. Hard swim fins. Instead of soft swim fins, like the feathery ones that look like this up here, means that those are boy appendages. So... Goodbye. Well, we'll see you later. Hey, get bigger so we can catch you in a week <laughs> and eat you. Look at the colors on that thing. Oh, oh man. Oh, he's pretty. Beautiful. Uh, oh, we got some big ones. We got some big ones. Oh, good. Uh, that's a male, too. That'll be a keeper. That'll be a keeper. Oh, that guy's a keeper. That's a. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, man. Look at that. Dirty. Male, so we don't have to worry about it, because if it's a female, it will have a notch, or it might have eggs, so we have to throw it back. So this is definitely, boom, keeper. keeper. It doesn't go over the back. Nice. That's a, that's a feast. Nice. Look at that. One, one lobster, a giant feast. Oh, beauty. I'm going to put them in the same bucket. Let's see what else we got. We've got two. That's a female. No notch, no eggs. And... She is, no, she's a keeper. She's in the limit. It doesn't snap over the back. You're allowed to females too? Yeah, yeah. As long as they don't have eggs or somebody hasn't cut a notch here because she had eggs before, okay. so she's a breeder. This one's not a breeder and it doesn't snap over the back. So nice. that's two. And that guy is a keeper. If it's a guy and it's not a girl with, that's a guy. Oh, we're getting some keepers. That's number three. Three right there. Nice. Maybe that's a keeper in there, too. And this one looks like it's a keeper. It doesn't have any claws. It's a female. Oh, she's got a, a mutilated uh, second fin in. So we have to throw her back. That may have been part of a notch that got broke off, and she's a breeder. But either way, normally it would be a clear notch. And uh, we can't tell. Yeah, that's okay. Can I let it go? <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. Since it's got no claws, I'm not afraid of it. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll let it go then. Goodbye, honey. Best of luck to you. <laughs> She's got a good chance she can make it just fine. Oh, yeah. Doing some slingshot shooting in Zach's house here. We were never allowed to shoot the slingshots as kids in the house, but we're big kids now. I got a lot of practicing to do. But Zach will show me how to shoot properly. It's pretty cool. Sit and have a coffee, sit on a chair and shoot slingshots in the house. <laughs> Gotta get my technique down, I guess. I haven't quite got the hang of it. Ooh, 
that was close. Oh, got her. <laughs> That's funny. Shooting range in the kitchen. <laughs> oh boy. Well, yeah. Nailed that one good. Oh. Nailed that one good. Well, at least I'm consistent. Consistently missing. Oh, see? See how I hammered that one? That was good. Wonder if that showed up on the camera. I'm gonna cook up my fish from Vermont. First fish I've caught in Vermont or anywhere in the East Coast. My brookie. Then kind of came off a bit. Let's see if this brookie's any good. Probably similar to the ones we get. Brookie's a brookie. That's good. This was white meat on this. Um, a lot of the ones we get back home are pink meat on the brookies. But it's good. I don't get sick of fish. Um, Patagonia, I caught 64. On the survival challenge, I caught 44, and one of the first things I did was go fishing when I got back from Patagonia. I just don't get sick of fish. I love it. How can you get sick of it? Some people don't even like fish. I don't get that one. Mm, very good. Very good. I could almost live on fish. I have, many times. Thumbs up for the brookie from Vermont. Oh, yeah. The look I have Son, come over here. Or you won't be in the film. Mm -hmm. That's why. And sometimes I. <laughs> Keep going. Perfect. So, this is my uh, first time in Maine. Uh, we spent the first few days down at Zach's parents in Vermont. Caught my first fish there. I haven't caught one here in Maine yet. It'd be nice to catch a fish here in Maine, but I'm not sure if that's gonna happen or not. See how it goes, it's an adventure though. There's lots there. Lots of shrimps in there. Big red one. I want to hold it. I want to hold it. I want to hold it. Here. You gonna eat it, Abby? Go for it. it. Can I see it? Eat it. No. Eat I want to eat, eat it. Oh, you let it go. I want to let it live. All right. <laughs> we'll let it live. 
We'll catch it later when it's bigger and eat it. Where are you gonna eat one, Sparrow? No, we're trying to catch one. There. There's two together. Okay. Oh, there you go, Greg. There's some fresh shrimp. I promised you some yep. fre fresh bean food. <laughs> Not much on them. <laughs> you gonna eat one? No. No? You're not hungry? Baby crab. He's only got one. Oh no, he's got both. Yes. See? No. Oh. oh, it's an octopus. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 Don't you see that? Oh, that you can touch. I think it's already dead. No, it no it's just they don't move like uh, octopuses don't or anything. They're all slow and see how see how slow he moves. Hold it. It's scary. It's not scary. Yes, it is. It's growing back one of its tentacles. It's a, it barely even moves. There he goes. We're at Zach's original property. I'm gonna go look at the yurt. Right there. Okay. It's attached to the camper. It's kind of uh, kind of gnarly. It's not very big. Nope. Twelve foot. Oh man, this is nasty. Oh, it's been two years. Oh, the snow's been blowing in from the... Yeah. Uh, this is the, was the kids' bunk beds when yeah. they were little that I built them. Huh. And, Something else. And this thing folded out into the bed and the coffee table that's at my house now, Yeah. there was one more cushion that sat up here and it came down and our blankets came down. It was a full-size bed with the wood stove there. Mm -hmm. It was so tiny in here, we had a piece of tin that hung on the front of the wood stove to vent the heat straight up a little bit to let some spill out the roof. Right. Some batteries yeah. and stuff so we could have some solar power. Some shelves I made and things for the yurt with the rounded backs to them so they fit against the wall. And And this was home for It was long? clean and nice when we lived here. Now it's kind of gross. Yeah, when it's like decorated and people are living in here is one thing, but man, now it's gotten pretty ugh. Yeah. I, I got to strip it down. Take the yurt parts and then re get a new cover, build a new cover, and start all over. Maybe yeah. I do want to save that. I mean, that, don't waste the yurt frame at least. You know, we bought the yeah. house and just been so busy working on the YouTube that uh, everything is just it's mostly just still up here, and we haven't done anything with it. Mm -hmm. She's all falling down. Yeah, that thing worked awesome. My solar barn. You know, it's that's like five years old now. Shrink wrap plastic like a greenhouse in there, and I could be in there on a warm sunny day in the winter, and it's. It's nice. You got a stove in there too. Yeah, so I could yeah fire up the stove if it was freezing and fire up the stove and it'd be not warm enough in there to work and whittle and play around and stuff. Yeah. This used to be all gardens and all kinds of fun stuff and a little fire pit area there and yeah. And fireworks. And fireworks. Fireworks too. Out here, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. This is part of my 87 days series, so it's like right. everything I did in Patagonia, but as if I did it here in Maine, how I do it differently. So instead of bamboo, you used a cattail. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's yeah. pretty cool. Whoa, those are yucky. Yeah, yeah pretty awful looking. Those would be good yeah, whoops. <laughs> Mummified fish. Yeah, well, because right. we did this uh, wilderness living challenge, and then I packed it right up. I did a little bit of editing and I headed off to go see him. And uh, they were all done, smoked and dr fairly dried. And you forgot about them. And I forgot all about them. <laughs> I was thinking about coming back in a couple weeks just to, if they didn't look gnarly, like just really cooking one to death and seeing if I get sick. You know, because if they well, were- Well, the, you'll was, get sick if you eat them, no. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's our lobsters. I'm gonna cook them. We've had them in the fridge for a few days. What amazes me is they're still alive. It's been like three days. Yeah. Well, these are hard shells. They'll last for longer. That's why when they ship them across the country, people ship uh, hard shells. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. Okay, so get the lid. Okay. Drop them in. You ever dropped one in before? Uh, yeah. I, well, I have, but I mean, not live ones that we've caught. Oh, I mean, yeah. I buy them live from the stores and stuff. And yeah, for those of you at home, you can listen to them scream. <laughs> yeah. Just kidding. Just sound, kidding. Sound like an elk bugling. Yeah. <laughs> a little crab. Maybe, is he still good? What, the crab? Uh, he alive? Let's just see. I think he's alive. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's still wiggling. Yep. 
All right. Okay. They don't appreciate it as much right. as we do. Hey Google, set timer for 11 minutes. 11 minutes, and we're starting now. Make sure we have enough. Three lobsters after all, so about a half a pound of butter should be good. <laughs> you don't want to run out mid-lobster, that's just not right. I grab it by the in, uh, antenna and see if the antenna pops off, and that's how you know for certain if they're done done. Yeah, she's done. Good. Okay. Let's do it. You want up. the antenna? Yeah, no, you can eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought we'd get better reception if we kept the antenna. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like the uh the uh, the, the fish eyeballs of eat the eyeballs? You can look see at the better. size of that guy's claw. That's claw a monster there, claw. Like look at that's like that's the size one. of my hand. These and I don't nice. have baby hands. These are nice lobsters. Yeah, we did good. They almost look bigger now that they've cooked. This guy's oh. not as big, but... No, no, he's missing a claw. Did it fall off? Yeah, right here. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Mr. Krabby. Little crab. And I grabbed the butter, and we're ready to rock. Oh, we need tools. Tools? Yeah, we need tools. These are hard shells. Oh. We're not going to be able to just tear those apart with our fingertips. Well, I got to try. Oh, you can. I mean, you'll be able to break the arms and legs off oh, and yeah, stuff, easy. but you won't. You won't be able to like, crunch up the shell. I don't think so much. Uh, I mean, the tail's easy. Yeah, the tail. Well, what, what are we gonna put like the innards in? Or that's what those bowls are for. Oh, okay. Open it. Open the, the bowl so that okay, any of the sprays or you know waters and. Yeah, yeah. Add some crap. Yeah, there you go. That's the way to do it. One. Two pickers. There we go. Got our lobster picking tools. And our lobster cracking tools. <clears throat> They're probably hot as heck too. Yeah. <laughs> there is some meat on the back, but I don't know if you yeah, want it. Yeah, it's a pain in the neck. I, I know it is. It's like, we during, won't worry about it right now. Right during the survival challenge kind of stuff, like that's, I got into it and I started mm -hmm. tearing it apart and sucking out all the juice from the head mm -hmm. and stuff, but like, Rest this time, I was like, good. Let's see, Grace. Okay. Lord, thank you for these lobsters. Bless this food to our body. In Jesus' name, amen. And, uh, yeehaw. Okay. Fresh lobster this time. Man, I could live here for that. Yeah, you like that? <laughs> Who in their right mind wouldn't like lobster? Right? I know, Can right? Can you imagine? I know a couple people I've heard that... people that say, oh, I don't like seafood. Oh, was that right? I a couple people that are like, ah, I'm not too into it, but never like, it's not okay, it's not good. Yeah, well, it is good. Oh, yeah. I wonder how much meat's in those big claws because they're. This sometimes big. they're not as much meat. No, in sometimes they're not stuffed at all. Yeah, and right. other times they're stuffed right to the gills. I, this is this one's fairly soft, so that one, if it's harder, should that's be. Nice, that's packed. Yeah, that's a nice piece. That one was packed. Oh. It's been almost a month since I had lobster myself. Yeah. No, it's been like three and a half, three and a half weeks. Hmm. Isn't that good though? No, it doesn't break. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I need these. <clears throat> That's a big one though. Sounds hollow. Let's see. Hollowish sound. Well, that's a good there. chunk of meat. Yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Yep. Okay, that's good. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's a nice piece, see? Yeah, I bet you're jealous now. <laughs> <laughs> the hard shells, people say, doesn't taste as good. Oh, that one had eggs. 
Oh. Yep, there's some a little strip of egg in there. It doesn't taste bad, but I'm not not nearly as good as like fish eggs, so I don't bother no. eating it. Yeah, that was a nice claw. Yeah, yeah the soft shells taste so much better. Yeah. And uh, we were talking about that this summer, um, and a lady that I gave some to suggested that the reason soft shells take, taste better is because their shells are thinner, and the salt water has a chance to permeate it. So they're like, basically they're live brined. The, <laughs> So that they taste, they taste more like the sea and fresh, and and juicy, mm. whereas the hard shells are just a little bit. I don't. It's like saying a sirloin steak is gamey, but mm. you know what I mean. It's because they're all so good, no matter which way. But there is they a. Are. It's it's like the difference between the trout there. Mm -hmm. Spawning trout versus the. Right. Like they're all really good, but the ones that aren't spawning are, are oh, better. Better, yeah. They are. There's no doubt. Just stick your finger in the in the butt and push. Hair? Yeah, it push that piece of meat through oh, and out the other push side. It through. Yep. Okay. Yep. Instead of trying to break the shell, there, there we you go. go. Yep. Nice job. Yep. Nice advice. That was yep. good advice there. Well, if nice it's a big piece. If it's a soft, they're easy enough to um. You know, just be like. Mhm. Mm mhm. -hmm. Man, I hope we have some more in the traps. That's good. I yeah, so it's been day. three days. We'll be able to go back out, see how the pig hide is. Mm -hmm. We'll have lobster feed once more before you go. Mm -hmm. That'd be good. Mm. Some paper. Mm -hmm. Man, is that better than frozen, eh? Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah, even... I boiled some and I set some aside, and um, and I tried to do other stuff with it, and it just doesn't. It's never as good as fresh. No, you know, this even, is the way I like it. Although butter, just like this. Ah, uh, I should make you a um, lobster roll. Lobster roll. Yeah, it's involved with that. It's just basically lobster and a couple spices and mayonnaise, mm. like you're making tuna <clears throat> salad or chicken salad. Mm-hmm. So good. I know for you lobster fans, this doesn't seem fair, us sitting here and eating lobster in front of you. They really are good. Trust me, this is your best, uh, just the best. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth, if, I've never done it before. I had a lot of people when I did start doing lobster stuff in my videos, like, oh, I've, you know, I've never had lobster because huh. I live, you know, where it's kind of expensive at the restaurant. Is it worth doing? I'm like, yeah. But fresh like this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we put them in the pot. They were still alive from three days ago. Mm-hmm. It's not like buying uh, frozen lobster. No. It's not the same at all. No. Nope. Well, anyway, so I don't want to sit and eat all this beautiful uh, lobster in front of the audience here. So me and Zach have plans. We're going to do some more videos while I'm here. And uh, make sure that you... Uh, Watch Oven's Rocky Mountain Bushcraft and Fowler's Makery and Mischief. Uh, if you haven't seen the 30 day challenge, make sure you tune in and check that out. Go back and watch it again even. <laughs> but we got more videos coming up. So if you stay tuned to our channels, we got lots of adventures coming up. Very heavy. It weighs more than both you and Abby put together, I think. It's probably full of them. Look at the size of that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is the biggest, this is the biggest catch I've ever had. Right here. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. That's a, look at that. That's a record for me. That's unreal. I hope we don't have to let that go. I don't even know what it would be like to eat a lobster that big. Let's check it. Let's find out. Too big. Why? Look. What does that mean? It's too big. It's too big. It has to be between here and here and here and here. So we cannot keep this lobster. It has to go back. And it is, let me see. Is it a, watch out, Sparrow. <laughs> it's a boy. Yeah. Oh my oh, goodness. Man, I can't believe it. Oh, we gotta get, oh my goodness. 
so do I. <laughs> Uh, I wish we're not allowed to. It's against the law. There's another one in there. Yeah, and it's gonna be too small. I can already tell. Uh, look at the size of that lobster, girls. What do you think of it? Awesome, but also so bad. We can't. Well, you know, I, I would have. I I would keep it as uh, a pet. Too small. The only other one we caught is too small. We got some big crabs though. That one's not, but uh, this guy, that's look at the size decent. of that crab. That's huge. That's decent. Oh, shoot. You know what? It breaks my heart to let that go. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> So thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and share.